41. Hey everyone here at uh, Canadian National St. Hyacinth, Quebec. Uh, we're having a few technical issues with Dark Connect uh, not uh, showing us the scoreboard. Uh, we do have the finals ladies match going on right now with Natalie Marchand from uh, Team Quebec uh, versus uh, Big Red. Um, what's Big Red? Uh, where's she from again? Newfoundland. 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 So. Uh, we're not uh, we're not even able to see the scores right now, so it's causing uh, causing us some stress back here. We're not seeing anything. So, uh, but Natalie is uh, throwing right now single twenty, triple twenty. She's finding the triple there, and another single. So she's pulled out the ton. Game 
stroke throw first, game up. Apologies for the technical difficulties to start things wow. off. We are in St. Hyacinth, Quebec for the 2023 Canadian National Championships. And we're watching the women's final already underway with Natalie Marchand leading uh, one to nothing in legs. Uh, but we've got Joanne Walsh out of Newfoundland currently leading this second leg with a 200 point lead at this point. Natalie at the board trying to reel her in like a halibut on a long line. She catches the 60 and it is going to be Joanne with an opportunity here on the 119. I can't believe their averages right now. Like we were uh, just watching without seeing the scores and now the scores are up. 71 average right now for Natalie Marshall. 70 average Joanne Walsh. So these guys, these ladies are playing and hitting those triple 20s and triple 19s. They're scoring out of their mind. Great set there from Joanne, setting herself on 36 with Natalie Marchand far behind. She's going to need a back out to dig herself out of this hole. Natalie doesn't look phased, only a 41, but she is continuing to battle in this set. Joanne now with the 36, an opportunity to finish this off. Inside on the 18, going to the double nine, and there it is. Sweet like a Jolly Rancher. What a great shot from Joanne Tyler in this matchup at 1 1. Third man, come back to throw first. Game up. That was a hold of throw, so Natalie's coming in now. 1 1. Well, solid darts all in the single 20s, but uh, 60s. So a good score. Oh, wow. Ooh, two, two tough darts from Joanne, picking up the 26, but landing two triples in the two single, two triple ones to pick up that score. Natalie with an opportunity here to move ahead in this match. A little bit of a wild dart there, high up in the five. Switching down to the 19, but only catches a three. Eight scored. Refocusing for this last dart. 
And another three with an 11. That's going to give Joanne an opportunity to get back into this leg. Two straying out into the single five, so that didn't help her get ahead at all. So Natalie has another chance to uh, get some scoring in. Oh, and Audra would be jealous of that first start. Bang on. Now Second. with the single five, can she follow it up? Ah, solid 85. 85, that's good. Man's got to find a triple there. Well, solid 60. Keeping yourself in the same century. A little bit of a slower start to this leg. Natalie looking to capitalize now. Steady darts again from Natalie, consistently getting into that single 20 and picking up the 60s. She's really focused, really focused on that 20. It's paying off. Big darts from Joanne Walsh pounding in the 140. She that is the cream in the coconut pie. Absolutely. Puts a little pressure on Natalie to have to find a triple. Off to the five on that last start, so 45 scored there. Both ladies coming down now into the crucial part of this leg. Joanne on 204. Natalie with an opportunity here from 240 to set herself up on a finish. Needs a triple to do so. Only picks a single, but gets herself down to 180. She's going to be up next to have an opportunity to set up that finish, but Joanne's going to get the first opportunity to get there. Still only a 41 in there, so again, Natalie has a chance to uh, get closer to her finish. She gets some scoring in here. Mm. Coming down slow for both players right now. Just eyeing up the board. After that fast start, both players throwing some nervy darts here. But it looks like Joanne right there on that triple. Does she pick 60. it up? Does she get the 100? Only a 60, but she's down to 103, a reasonable finish for a player like her. Natalie at 137. A lot to ask, but certainly a makeable finish. She can get herself into a one dart. She has a chance to come back have three darts at a finish, so she's really got to do some scoring here. And a great last dart from Joanne with a 97 scored. Going to leave herself on six, an awkward finish. But Natalie's sitting on 78 now, likely going for triple 18 on this first dart. Just to the outside, leaving her on 60, single to double tops. Oh. oh. Over into the five on that last dart there. Needs to recompose. Double six is an awkward, double three is an awkward shot for Joanne. So she sets herself up on the 40, hoping that Joanne catches that single three and leaves herself in an awkward position. Oh, that's what she did. She hit the single three, but she cleaned it up, hitting a single one, coming back for a double two. And Natalie with an opportunity here to break throw and move into the lead. Not a break of throw, a hold of throw. Hold of throw. First start goes high. Second higher. Can she reel it in? 
Oh, and she goes just below, just below. So Joanne has a chance, pulls this out with a double one. And watching Joanne today on the floor, she was deadly on her finishes. Oh, slides it over into the double 18 just on the wire. There's a chance for, chance for Natalie to come in and take this uh, double 10 out, hold her throw. Just outside. Great marker. Bring it in. Oh, all three out. Okay, well, Joanne has another chance at that double one. Bring it down. Whoa. There's some nervy double darts there. Natalie again with an opportunity to hold her throw after these. Missed doubles. There ah, is. there we are, like a snapping turtle on a carrot. She snatches that one away from Joanne with the opportunity for a break. She really needed to do that, hold her throw. Joanne coming out strong, early quick with the ton right off the hop. Natalie looking to answer. And directly into that triple 19, can she get another? They off into the three. That's okay, 79, that's all good. And Joanne looking to extend her lead, picking up an 83. Tough deflection there. Caught the flight and then a bit of the shaft before landing in the triple one. But the 83 gives her a, a ton of advantage over Natalie. But Natalie is back into that triple 19. And another. Can she fill it up for the 171? Oh, oh just a little bit high. Still a really good score for Natalie. That puts her up. Gives her a little bit of confidence after having some scoring issues. And there's Joanne into the triple 20 again. This third le or fourth leg really picking up the scoring after a uh, somewhat underwhelming third leg. Natalie with a wayward dart to start, but then picks the triple 19 again, crisp like a cucumber. Whoa, and oh, and another one just over into the three. Into the three. And Joanne proving that she is not looking out on that triple 20, burying in another for an 81. She is going to be the first to the finish in this fourth leg. It is her throw, so she does need to hold that. There's a triple 19. Natalie is right on that number. Oh, with an Ooh. excellent 97 nice. score. <laughs> and Joanne needs to be careful here. She can ill afford to not put up at least a solid 60. There's and one. she's into the triple 20. And again with a ton. 54, Natalie's now got pressure on her against this 125. Where's she gonna start? Is she gonna try the green bull first? Let's see where she goes. Ops for the 18. Puts her on the 71. She went for the triple 17, but caught the three. 68 remaining with Joanne on a 54 finish. One dart to set this up. And hits the one, so still a little bit of work, but uh, Joanne with 54 can close this out. There's the 14. No, oh, just below. And outside of the double 10.
Natalie on the 67, going the 17th route. Catches the first of the triple. Look at that. Double eight. First starts a good marker, but just to the outside. Oh, oh yes. both of them on the outside on that one. Joanne needing that double 10 to hold this throw. And pins it on her first dart. Both players still on throw. Natalie to start this fifth leg. Again, it's the first to four. The lady singles. Joanne back into that triple. Looking to start off with another ton, and she does. Very consistent on that triple 20. Natalie opened with the 57. She's going to want to answer here. She's also been on that triple 19. Can she stay there? Two into the single. Looking for that triple. And she's going to catch another single for the fi another 57. Still solid. Three in the bed. 57. <coughs> Joanne with a bit of a waywardly set. Gives Natalie an opportunity to regain control of her throw. And there's that triple 19, that sweet, that nasty, that gushy stuff, and she is in there once again. The 117. 19 queen. Joanne has to find a triple here to bring her back into the scoring. It's a solid 60 on that. Oh, that gives Natalie an opportunity to pull ahead in this leg. On 270, will she offer the 20s or stick with the 19s? Uh, going up, going back down. Ah, and she picks off that triple 19 again. She's going to need another triple to get to a finish. Unable to snag it, but a solid 78 to give herself a century advantage over Joanne in this leg. With the single, Joanne won't be able to get to a finish, so likely Natalie's going to be the first to the finish in this leg. Another solid 60 from Joanne, though. Natalie taking her time to compose. And the 60 is a great score for her here. Pulling herself within a reasonable finish at the 111. Joanne needs to hit another triple here to get herself back into this leg and not give Natalie too many darts at the double. And she finds the triple on that. Can she find another? No, but it's a good 100, good ton in there. Brings her down to 153. They're both in a finished position. It is Natalie's throw. She needs to get herself down into a one darter. 153 is still high for Joanne. This is the triple 18. Put yourself on to 92. And another waywardly dart. That's a great opportunity for Joanne to pull herself back in this leg. A ton would be massive and put a tremendous amount of tr pressure on Natalie. Just underneath. And another solid 60. They are effectively tied at this point. Both players on two darts out, needing a triple to double combo. Natalie with the slight advantage, being able to go to the bull if she doesn't catch a triple. But with that three, she is going to need to catch the triple. Unable to, setting her, she's on 64 now. How does she set herself up? With the single 16 to leave herself on 48. Now Joanna on the 93. Will she opt for bull or for the triple 19? Going to the triple 19, 74. And a 20 to leave tops. Oh, and she's missed it as well. 
So with Natalie on 48, she's got the big section of the pie, the 8 and the 16, to set herself up for two darts on the finish. First dart into the 8, double 20, double 10. Unable to get the finish, and now Joanne with an opportunity here to, for the break. Sitting on 59, 19 tops, her likely approach. Single 19 is in, double 20. Outside, great marker though, can she finish it off? Oh, and again, too high. She's gonna give Natalie another trip to the board. Joanne can't be happy with that result. Inside on that, double five, just above. Brings it down into the single five. So she's coming back with five. Now, as we mentioned before, Joanne's been deadly on her finishes. This is a great opportunity for her to get the break and have an opportunity to win the national championship. Just outside, great marker though. Underneath and for the double 10. Oh, she's not able to get it, giving Natalie the opportunity here to clean up this five. She's got the single. Oh, and a waywardly dart just on the wrong side into the double 15. Joanne with another opportunity to take out this double 10. Just outside on that first dart. Not even a good marker, they're still a bit far. Bring it in. She can't reel that in. When there's a national championship on the line, it's easy to understand the amount of pressure these ladies are under. Natalie once again looking to clean up this five with a single one before she goes down to the double two. Great composure from both players here. Can Natalie clean this up? And just to the outside, great set of darts. Unfortunate that that didn't land for her. Both of these players getting a lot of opportunities at those doubles. Bet they wish they weren't. I wish they wish they were finishing those games, but here we are, double five for Joanne. And just below, so she's left herself a bit of a mess too with five to go. Natalie has now cleaned up hers. Double two is what she needs. Natalie's been very composed. She's put up good darts. Unfortunate to miss up to this point. Can she finally clean it up? Into the single two, up for the double one, and underneath. Joanne's going to need to clean this up first with a single to get her shot at the double. There she is like a gladiator going for the kill. Does she take this out? One dart to the outside. And there, there it does. is. There she does. So that was a break of throw. So now she goes ahead and she has the darts in hand to start this ne next leg. And it's the first of four. So it's 3-2 now for Joanne Walsh. And the darts are in her hand. So she can take this if she can hold this and put up some good scoring. Yeah, can Natalie recompose herself and get back onto that triple 19 to try and put pressure on Joanne? That's a tough way to lose the leg and Joanne is coming out strong with that ton in the first, for her first shot of this sixth leg. That's really gonna put some uh, pressure on Natalie. She's really gonna want that triple 19 for sure. Uh. Good first start. Can she raise it up? Oh, into the three. And a good set of darts, unfortunately, that's only a 41. This is a great opportunity for Joanne. She can sense it. You can see it in her face. She can sense that she has an opportunity here. Oh, and like oh, a piranha on a that. drumstick. She is into that triple quick. 85. That 85, 85 is going to give her a big advantage here. Natalie needs to respond or Joanne's going to have a great opportunity to start pulling herself towards the finish. No phase on Natalie though, eh? It doesn't matter what's scoring, doesn't matter what she's scoring, she's just at it, it's like a machine. You're absolutely right, Xander. She's really kept herself composed despite having dropped a leg there with tough doubles. She's putting in a solid 60, keeping herself within striking distance. She's gonna need to find some triples though. Joanne near that triple, but falling into the one and the five, a 26. 
giving That's, Natalie an opportunity to find that triple and pull herself close into this leg once again. This is her chance, but she's really got to get uh, get a couple triples in there. She's not going to have too many more shots. Nope. Over to the seven on that last dart. So another 45 scored for her. She's still at 355, but Joanne's coming in at 290. So she's going to get in a good opportunity to score. And no, good solid 60 in there, three uh, single 20s. That's all the 60 puts her 125 up on, on Natalie. Natalie, if she's not able to find a triple here, is going to be under uh, a tremendous amount of duress as Joanne starts to look to set herself up on the finishing shot. And perhaps the stress getting to Natalie a little bit of some waywardly darts way over into the 18. Only a 38 score. Joanne here, a solid 60, would leave her on to finish. A triple would put herself into striking distance. Not able to beg it in. Only a 41. Uh, but in response to Natalie's score of 38, that is still giving her a little bit slight, a slight more advantage. And only the 41. Natalie's now likely wishing that Joanne will miss some doubles. Joanne still needs to get herself into striking distance. Two solid 20s. Doesn't switch, leaves herself on the awkward 129, but she's got time. Natalie she, needs to She's least. staying where she's solid, and she's feeling solid on those 20s right now. So I don't know. It's not about what she has left. It's about what she's feeling comfortable throwing, and... Uh, Natalie's really got to get out of the ones and fives. She's got to find that. Uh, there's two darts in the one. And a great last dart, picking up the 59, trying to reel herself within finishing distance here. Now Joanne with an opportunity to take out the 129. Uh, she's going to opt to go for the 20s, feeling like she's got some time. She does have six clean darts at it. And she picks up the 46 to put herself under 100. And if she needs to, she will have a bull shot from 83. A high score from Natalie right now will really put a lot of pressure on to uh, Big Red. So uh, if she can find a couple of triples here, there's one, triple 19. Now sitting on 160. Ops to stay with the 19s. Put another one in there. Uh, just outside, 95, still good. Good score. 122, only requiring one triple for the bull finish. But Joanne on 83. Hits the 17. Will she go 16s? She does. Full shot for the Canadian national title. Oh. And just underneath into the 17. Natalie needing a 122 here to save herself. I've seen her take out higher scores than this, so she's totally capable. Needing the triple. Unable. Oh, and then last dart into the one. 33 for Joanne coming in. Single to double combo. Ops for the 17 to leave double eight. And, and there it is. It. Your and 2023 Canadian national champion is Joanne Walsh from the Puffin Eaters in Newfoundland. And a great job by Natalie Marshall. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've seen her on stage, so it was really, really good to see her here, to be able to cheer her on, uh, play her a lot in the uh, Quebec and the Ottawa area. So just a really, really good showing by her in the uh, Canadian Nationals.
Ladies and gentlemen, coming up shortly, we will have the men's singles final, so please stay tuned. Look for that live stream coming up next.